All right, this is P Killer Tracks for Machine Masters. And what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about drum kits. So let's get into that, all right? Now, you know, Machine Micro comes with a vast amount of drums. And sometimes when you're making your, your music and you already got like, you got a nice melody and everything and you're searching for drums and you're going through Machine Micro and, and they have a ton of drums. What? You know, some of some great hits, and then you have some not so great hits, you know. So, what we're gonna do today is see how like that kit's not really that great. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make our own drum kits and save them and, and label them. All right, so let's get started. Right, so first thing you want to do is go to where you have your personal drums. Me, I go to disk, I go to users, and I go to my personal folder. Now, you can have yours on your desktop anywhere, but me, I have mine in my documents. And these are drums that I collected throughout the internet. So, you know, so there's certain, sometimes there's certain like type of drums I like and, you know, and effects that I want on my drums. So let's start with uh, looking for a, a kick. Now, I like this this kick right here. So what you could do is click on this button over here, go to your sound pad, sound one, and you could double click or you could just drag and drop it. Either or works. I like to double click. Now you got your drum kick right there. Next thing you might want to do is, so you can make it your own personal, instead of having all of these, <clears throat> excuse me, miscellaneous names on them, you know, you could put your name or you could just put kick. And then after that, me personally, I like to go right here to the sampler, click on that, then you, you have your voice settings, you know, like I said before, there's, there's a bunch of other effects, but this is what we want to be. So in voice settings, I'll just click that all the way down to Legato. And then you can go to your engine. You can use the standard engine, or you could use the S1200 engine, or you could use the M60, or you could use the MP60 engine. Me for drum for like drum kicks, I like to stay in the S1200 with a low filter. Then I'll look for a snare. So we'll just go to the good old you know, you want to make like an urban, you know, like an urban type of kick, drum kit. So I'll just go to, um, let's say, Lex Luger. I like that snare. So I'll double click that snare, right? Now say if I didn't write, I didn't rename this, and I went to, a, let's say, a hi-hat, right? Now, if I double click the hi-hat, you see how that just changed to the Lex hi-hat? And now the snare's not there. But to get out of that, just control Z. Pardon me, I'll press control X. Press control Z, and it should bring that back. So just make sure you go to your next destination where you want your sound before you start double clicking. I like this hi hat. So, you know, now, still, like I said, you want to go ahead and voice settings to the poly and just click that all the way down to the gato. Same with the snare. Now, I leave these in standard engines. Only the kick, I like to just set up like that. Now, I'll start renaming them. You can name it whatever you want. You can call it your snare or, you know, put your name, but I'll just call it snare. And same thing with the hi-hat. I'll just call it hat. Now, there's other things you can do too. You can go to your kick, go here to the next, part, and um, you can put a plugin. You could put the standard plugins that they have. You know, you could put a gate, you could put a compressor. You know, you could put a compressor on it and set the threshold. You know, you can save it and whatnot and everything. 
you can give it a name. Let's 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 just give this a name for now. Uh, we're going to just go save as. Um, as you see here, I have you know a few a few drum kits already done, and I'll I'll get to that too. We'll just save this as as test okay? test right now. Save that. Next thing you might want to do is <clears throat> go into this little wave part right here and you click on that. The reason why we're doing this is because sometimes you might want to edit the sounds. Now, this kick has a little bit of air at the end, which we don't need. So you go right there, come right in, and just shorten it. Now, you can go over here to the far right to this little arrow. This gives you a couple, a few options. You can truncate it. You can truncate it from there. For me, I normally just press the truncate button, but let's just use this. So we truncated it, and then sometimes, sometimes some of the sounds you get off the internet, they're kind of low. So you might want to normalize it. And as you see, it just made the wave form a little bigger, which just brightens. It just loudens up the sound. Same as a snare. You can see as the snares fully maxed out of volume but look at all that dead air <clears throat> that dead air at the end so you might want to just take that and just close it in you know it sounds much better than that like I said you can go over here to the far right to this arrow to the options and you can truncate from there the same with the hi-hat now look at this hi-hat you know, it sounds nice. There's a lot of air there, so once again, we'll go here and pull that all the way in to where, you know, it makes sense. That yeah, makes sense. Now, I, trun I truncated it from the machine micro itself. Now, you see, look, see this waveform? It's really not that loud. So, what you might want to do is go back over here to your little arrow and just normalize it. Now, look at that. So next thing you might want to do is go back to your, you know, your main library, and now you want to look for your drum kit, right? Actually, it should be here. And user, this is where it should save all your drums at. See, here's my drums. And there we go. Test. So earlier, I made a, a drum kit called PK Trap Drums. So to find those, I'll just go to Kits, Urban, and there we go. PK Trap Kit. And then I'll just, you know, I'll double click that. And there we go. These are all, this is, this is you know, this is my favorite you know, a drum kit that I just recently made. And to show you, the reverb is there that I that I did on the clap. And then my kick. My plug-in is there with its settings. Nothing's moved, everything's still the same. Yeah, and this is and this is something that you know you might want to take a little time out. Just, just so you don't have to scour through the machine micro kits, you know, because like I said, there's a vast amount of drum kits in the machine micro. Some of them are great, some of them are not so great. So, to make your own, that's what we do. And like I said, you can edit them down here, you can add titles to them, so this way, you know, they're just easier to find. All right, and that's what it is. P Killer Tracks on Machine Micro on how to make your own personal drum kits.